Hello Sagittarius, welcome to a bonus love reading. We're going to be looking at who or what is coming towards you in love. Um, as always, this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching. So take what resonates for you, check out your other placements. If you want additional messages, I'll have all the playlists for each sign linked in the description box. Um, so you can check out your moon, your rising, or any other sign of significance. Um, this reading will be for those of you that are single, don't have anybody in mind, or have someone in mind. We'll see what comes up. So let's jump right in for Sagittarius. Spirits, angels, guides. What messages, guidance do you have for Sagittarius? Who is coming towards Sagittarius? Who's coming towards Sagittarius? In love. Who's coming towards Sagittarius? Coming towards them, spirit. Aries ruled by Mars could be a, uh, an Aries, obviously, but th this is also like the Emperor. So somebody that is very decisive, mature, fun, outgoing, and lively. Somebody that ha likes to have a good time. I'm getting somebody that's very like um, like an extrovert, <laughs> uh, very forward or just has a great sense of humor, charismatic, you know. They like to have fun. They like to enjoy themselves. But they're outgoing. So I'm getting the sense of someone that, you know, especially this Aries, it's like somebody that's just kind of forward in a way. Or not shy, you know? What else for Aries? What else does Aries need to know about who is coming towards them? Oh, almost dropped that. Divine timing, trust in divine timing. Hidden motives. Bottom of the deck, budding romance. Interesting. So it's, you know, it's... It's like the mask comes off at the right time. But I don't get, like, negative energy from that. It's almost like someone makes their intentions known at the right time. Or maybe something that they haven't been open about. They're open about it at the right time. Oh my gosh, I just opened the deck and there's the tower. Okay. Tell me more for Sagittarius. What do we need to know? For Sagittarius about what is coming towards them. In love, what is coming towards them? In love, one more. Interesting. Hang on. What is <laughs> what is happening with my deck? The chariot reverse, cancer energy, the devil, Capricorn energy, two of pentacles reverse, three of wands reverse, bottom of the deck, six of cups reverse, stuck in the past. Something to do with the past here. This could be a past life connection because I have divine timing here. Two of Pentacles reverse. The cherry reverse. The devil. Hmm. I don't know what's going on here. Let's find out. With the Three of Wands reverse, impatient energy. Someone doesn't want to wait any longer. The Chariot reverse, stuck energy. Something's not moving, not progressing. The Devil, stuck energy. Two of Pentacles reverse, a decision being made. Options that have been evaluated. And finally, someone is deciding something. 
So I'm getting almost like this energy of someone not wanting to be stuck anymore, stuck in the past, stuck hiding how they feel. Maybe they're pretending with this fun, outgoing and lively card. We'll see. We'll see what all of this is about. Let's start with the cherry reverse. Why is something not progressing, not moving? Why is why are things stuck here? Tell me about the chariot reverse. Why is the chariot reverse? Six of cups. This is someone definitely, there's something here with someone stuck in the past. No progression with a soulmate, perhaps. No, prog you know, it's like, that's why I'm getting like, so, so for some of you, this could be a past life connection and it just hasn't happened yet. That's why divine timing is here. Tell me about the cherry reverse. What is this? Knight of Pentacles, okay? So again, slow, a slow opportunity, an offer that takes a long time. Why is the chariot reverse? 10 of Wands, yeah. So two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. There's something here with like a, uh, a long time, timing, soulmates, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not sure just yet because I want to clarify the rest of the energies, but this is what I'm seeing right away. Um, I feel like with the Ten of Wands, this card for me, um, it takes a while to collect all of these wands. And someone's been holding on to these, you know, to this burden or carrying this burden for a long time. That's why it's weighing down on them. They didn't just start their journey, right? They're, they're almost to the end of their journey with the Ten of Wands. That's why they're seeing the house in the distance. They're almost at their destination. So I feel like this is something that's been happening for a long time or is, has built up to this point, but it, you know, it just hasn't progressed until now, perhaps. Because I have the three of wands reversed. So someone doesn't want to wait any longer or there's something here with timing. So we'll see. But this is definitely like a soulmate situation, two of uh, cups, six of cups. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? Ace of Swords. Why is the devil here? Knight of Cups. So I feel like someone wants to express themselves. Yeah, there's the sun, clearly. This Ace of Swords, when I saw it, the first time I saw this, or when I put down this Ace of Swords, I thought someone cutting out these bonds, these attachments, whatever's keeping them stuck. Um, I feel like whatever's keeping someone stuck is what's been hidden, what hasn't been expressed. It's very important that someone expresses themselves, that this is out in the open. This could be an apology. This could be um, someone declaring themselves, confessing their feelings, you know? This could be somebody completely new or someone from the past because this could be a past life connection for some of you. I get one more for the devil. Yeah, Knight of Swords. This is a message. This is truth. This is something that's going to be expressed. So why is the Two of Pentacles reversed? Is this someone deciding to do this? What's this? Why is the Two of Pentacles reversed? The moon, Pisces energy. Yeah, something's definitely hidden here. And I don't, I, again, I'm not getting that this, like, I'm not getting like, um, I don't know. It's like, oh, the devil at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this is all connected. I feel like someone, the secrets that someone has been holding has kept them stuck. But again, I don't think this is a bad secret. I, I mean, I hope I'm wrong about, I'm, not, I'm right about that. And it's, it's not a bad secret. It's almost like this is somebody that this secret is weighing on them or what they haven't said is weighing on them. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles reverse. Why is this Two of Pentacles reverse? Wow, another card for an offer. So we have Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. This is definitely an offer that someone wants to make. A message that's delivered but with a purpose 
usually I have the page of pentacles or knight of pentacles it's like a promise that's like a like a, there's a delivery there something you can touch it's not just words eight of swords at the bottom of the deck again stuck energy I wonder why why is someone so stuck I mean I know why because they've they're stuck they're chained to the moon right to the lack of clarity but why why did it get to that point can I get one more for the two of pentacles reverse why is the two of pentacles reverse Yeah, Queen of Swords. This is definitely somebody that needs to talk. Three of Cups, the Empress, the Sun, Page of Swords after that. Um, this could be someone wanting to meet up and talk. Um, I really hope this isn't about a third person. <laughs> uh, that would be sad. Um, I feel like this is someone that um, they want to be honest about something. But I wonder... Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. They want to clear the air about something. They want to talk about something. Why is the Queen of Swords here? What can you tell me about this Queen of Swords? The world. Yeah, they want a new beginning here. It's almost like they know that if they talk to you about this, it's going to start a new cycle. Some of you are definitely dealing with an Aries. They had a very similar reading. Whatever this is, is going to start a new cycle. Okay, tell me about this Three of Wands reverse. Why is the Three of Wands reverse? Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Wands reverse? Wow. Six of Wands. Okay, can I get one more? I get the sense that someone's tired of waiting for this or is just very like feeling very impulsive here. They they don't they no longer want to wait for something. Tell me about the three of wands reverse. Why is the three of wands reverse? Yeah, ace of cups. Nine of cups. So basically somebody just wants to be happy. I heard happy again. Someone wants to be happy again. They're tired of being stuck. I don't know what they're stuck in specifically because I feel like there's more than just someone, you know, maybe not saying something, but <clears throat> I feel like someone no longer wants to hold back. They don't want to hold back whatever this moon is about. They want to just get this started and they're very motivated, you know, Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords you know ace of swords they really want to talk about this um to be direct about this because i feel like they know that if they were just to talk about this um and no longer wait that they could have happiness again yeah it's like i would be in a whole different um area of my life yeah six of swords two of pentacles two of wands five of wands though so i feel like you know them leaving a situation or leaving you know the the restrictions and the stuck energy behind will not be an easy uh move you know maybe they've gone back and forth about it with the two of pentacles but make no mistake they want to do this tell me about the ten of wands i'm just curious what can you tell me about this Ten of Wands? What's this Ten of Wands about? Why is the Ten of Wands here? Death. Yeah, Scorpio energy. They want this to end. Whatever that has been burdening them, whatever this is that keeps them stuck, that keeps them from being happy, and for some reason you're involved here because they're making this offer to you. So it's like you would make them happy and they know you would make them happy. And I feel like there's something here with things. 
they're stuck in the past. So for example, they could be thinking of the past a lot, a past with you perhaps that already existed. Um, or this is a past life connection that hasn't had the opportunity to begin yet. But I feel like this is someone that's already kind of in your midst in some way. And they're coming towards you. I feel like they're being guided towards you with divine timing. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope that this reading resonated for you or that you got something out of it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the reading, hit that like button, subscribe so you can see more readings from me. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.